sommelier and owner of Savvy Grapes. The silver winner is Savvy Grapes. Earlier this week, her company won the Silver Award for Professional Services of the Year through the Ottawa Chamber of Commerce. While honors like that are certainly toastworthy, we don't plan to have Debbie relax and enjoy the glory. No, we have her working her taste buds and her common sense on your behalf. She's here to help you with your holiday wine worries. You look smashing. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous. Congratulations. Oh, it was a great night and great party. And too. she's still popping the champagne. Oh, yeah. You were so brave opening champagne on, or sorry, sorry sparkling wine on. Woo there we go. Hey, what a great note to start on. There we are. So you are here with tons of great suggestions and of course we are going to take your phone calls in a little while to answer any questions you might have. But these are gift ideas for the wine lover in your life. Exactly. And there's so many different things. And not only is wine a great idea to give as a gift, but I went uh, shopping. How's that? First off, why don't yes, we start what off did, with What champagne, or sorry, sparkling wine, well, everyone always, does, does everyone do that, or is it just me? It's the whole idea <laughs> if of if just bubbly. setting the right atmosphere. We should say, though, that champagne is only called champagne because it's the sparkling wine from the region of champagne. Is that exactly. correct? Exactly. The rest exactly. of it is called? It's called sparkling, or method champenoise, or um, different countries have their own um, name. For example, in Italy, they call it uh, a dry prosecco. Um, in Spain, it would be called a cava. Also in Italy, they'll have something uh, slightly sweet, Moscato d'Asti or Spumante. And so it's all different styles of wine. This one, I thought it would be, you know, with all of the different parties that are out there um, over the holiday season. We'll turn that so people can see it. All of the okay. different parties, you were going to say. Go. Um, it's always great to have a sparkling wine. It kind of sets the mood, and, and it's a great way to um, start an evening so that people, when they are um, arriving at the door, give them a glass of, of sparkling. Whether and you actually let, wanted to show off these glasses as well because these are not your typical sparkling well, wine right. glasses. Uh, flute glasses are, tend to be um, very, very slender and tall tulip shape. And these ones are um, the latest and greatest from Riedel. And Riedel is a crystal um, glass manufacturer and they're always trying something different. And so this one is, if you can see, actually the um, wine is in the stem as opposed to only in the glass. So it's pretty, uh, it's something a little bit novel and it'll catch your, uh, your guest's eye. Okay. So I thought that one would be uh, fun to try. Now, other things that will catch your guests' eyes, and I guess you've had this breathing for us for a little while, um, these are interesting decanters. Exactly, and decanters come in all forms and shapes and sizes. As you can see, this is more um, traditional um, shape of, of a decanter, this one here. And then this is another new one from Riedel, and it's beautiful when you actually pour into this. So you can, as you're pouring along the side, here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? There you go. It's all part of the art, part and of the show. <laughs> so the whole idea when you're looking for a decanter as a gift or, or for yourself is look for something which actually has a very wide base because what you're doing by decanting wine is basically um, encouraging more air into the wine. So you'll want to have something where the uh, greatest surface area, like this one here, it allows as much air into the wine as possible. Okay, now we have so many things to show in such a short time. I'll go through the ones on the sure. left very quickly. And this is an insulated bag to take your white wine so it stays chilled. Exactly. You can do that. There's a single, there's a six pack, a three pack, and then there's also this purple one I picked out. I thought it was kind of fun because uh, it's a good idea Because it matches your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's a little picnic idea. Well, you know, the other thing too is you could actually put um, bottles of wine when you're traveling, put it in these packages and have it uh, pop in your suitcase and then that's well protected. Oh, good Especially idea. when you can't carry on wine any longer on the plane. Right, okay. Now, you brought along a couple of choices. One is a port and one is a sweet dessert wine. Exactly. There's so many to choose from. Isn't that the hardest part, especially about uh, doing this segment? So I was at the LCBO yesterday and I shop there a lot. <laughs> They and know Debbie. <laughs> it's a good thing they now know what you do for a living. They were Look. probably starting to worry. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is um, a new port that is out. It's called Dow's Christmas Port. And, and I haven't tried it yet, but I've been told that it's a very light style uh, ruby port. So it's nice to have um, if you wanted something to go with cheese or roasted nuts or, or dried fruit. And that's kind of a nice dessert. Um, mm -hmm. They're both, uh, and this is a fruit wine. This is a fruit wine made um, in Niagara. I guess all wine is fruit wine, but you know what I'm saying. Berry, um, it's a berry wine. That's the word I'm looking for. And this one's actually made with raspberries. It's called uh -huh. framboise. And the whole idea there is, is with all of these great um, tastes, 
for uh, a party. So you don't have to serve a port and you don't have to serve a nice wine to go with all the chocolates and, and goodies that you've got on the table. You can certainly try something like this and this is delicious on its own, uh, slightly chilled or even poured over with a little bit of ice cream. Mm, there you go. Well, mm. we're going to have more of Debbie's ideas and she's going to take your phone calls in a little while. But first, we want to thank all of you for calling in in hopes of claiming those two 100 level tickets to see Rod Stewart. Congratulations to Helen Vandenberg who correctly answered our skill testing question and will be going to the concert on February 27th. We have another pair of tickets that we will give away tomorrow and on Friday we have a pair of floor level tickets and uh, they'll go on sale on Saturday. Now we're going to clear the phone lines because it's your turn to ask the questions. Timber, everything's fallen here. <laughs> After the Valley Notes in a short break, Debbie will take your wine questions. The numbers are 613 750 one or toll free one eight 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 seven five zero one two one one.